Dude, like you want to die from a fire? Mm -hmm. Not for the whole match. Um, this is going on YouTube on Mr. The Facts channel. <laughs> What channel? Go, go. What channel? Mr. The Factor. Oh! Oh! Snap, crackle, pop! It's a duh. Whoa. Ha ha You guys are fast pacing it to your bedrooms. Yeah, I don't mind. I got a TV in there. With the TV unplugged and the cable box removed. As if. I guess you don't believe it. No! Welcome to the new shop, homie folk. Got my brother Scab over there. <laughs> um, I, there is like no room in here, you guys, to even move. But we're rebuilding his front forks today. I got a little special surprise for Kurt, a.k.a. Minute Stop. Check out my son Q Factor's S15 Sylvia. It's not quite done yet. It's got a Skyline single turbo motor in it. I've driven it once on a rainy day and about killed myself. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ton of fun, but um, for a future video, uh, I've got the chopper stuffed in here. Um, it's a little two car garage and I've got too much stuff in here. Little's the key word. Little is the key word. So I got we my got bro. Tunes. We got, we got tunes. tunes. Everything else doesn't matter. That's right, check it out. We took the tunes from the shop. We got speakers sitting on top of the car. <laughs> he would kill me if he saw this. He's he's not uh, he's not home right now. So anyway, so what we're doing is we're rebuilding his front forks, but I wanted to give just a quick look at the new little temporary shop. La Fonda and Peggy have taken a seat outside for a bit. And I'm gonna show you how quick you can pull a fork apart on a bike here in just a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how quick you can pull a single fork leg apart. Oh, gosh, you got to have all your tools ready. So let me show you what you need. Um, I minus one little tool here. This will work. Okay, what you're going to need, you're going to need a, a wrench that looks like this to take the um, base valve stack out. You're going to need a 21-millimeter socket, a 7 8 will work. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket to take the um, triple clamps off and you're going to need a special tool like this, a uh, little cheapy to hold the, um, it's called a piston rod and I've got a little bucket right down here on the bottom that is going to drain oil. It's going to take more time to drain the oil than it is to pull everything apart. I'm using a little two foot long, ex little, two foot long extension to hold um, to hold it when I take the uh, the piston rod assembly out. So uh, my bro Scab is going to hold the video camera for me, and uh, he's going to hit the timer. I'm going to be in control here, but let's see how long it takes to pull a fork leg apart. Okay. So whenever you're ready, Cuckus, let's do it. And the clock is on. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna break this loose first. Okay, that's loose. 10 millimeter socket. Sometimes it takes me longer to get the fork leg out than it does to uh, there we go. 
we're going to take this out. I'm going to drain the oil out. What oil there is in there may not be a lot. I'm going to hold this, this. Of course, I got the wrong socket. Doesn't matter what the pro like you. Uh, there we go. Still draining. Looks like it's a little low, maybe a lot low. We're gonna go all the way down to the seals, boys. Got one tool. Hang on a sec, I grab a use a crescent wrench here. Gotta hold this little deal down here. Almost there, boys. About two minutes into it here. Sorry, there's a little piston rod here. You want to pull that out. Boom, boom, boom. Now pinch yourself. Spring. Cartridge assembly. Okay, cut goes to come up here. Pop the dust seal off. Might take me longer to get the dust seal off than anything. Almost there. Yes, we're making a big gooey mess. That's all right. Okay, back up for me. Take the spring out. There we go. Three minutes flat. Woohoo! Okay. So it looks like uh, three minutes. Come around here, you can see the, the forks are all pulled apart. Here's the seals. We'll take and inspect all that. It's a little bit low on fluid. Here's your cartridge assembly. There's no fluid in that, actually. Maybe that's where all your problem was, homie. So we'll take all this apart, check it all out, inspect it. We'll be good to go, but it takes you three minutes per fork leg. So don't be afraid to do your maintenance on your front forks, guys. Drain your fluid, check it, refill it with some fresh stuff, clean it all real good, you'll be good to go.